Yo, what is going on guys? I'm Joker Atkinson and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm just going to be talking about future plans I want to do with the bike this summer because I did just get a brand new job and it is a pretty good paying job, especially for me. It's a good paying job. I'm not going to talk about that in this video and I'll probably let you guys know about the new job in a future video. Uh, basically, we're just going to be talking about what I want to do to my... 250 this summer so one of the first things i want to do is i want to get a new clutch lever because at iron pony which is like a local motorcycle shop they have these pro taper levers the pro taper levers this is the mm -hmm. unbreakable one and they stopped making those like i've tried to look everywhere online they don't make them anywhere so Iron Pony had them for my bike, and it was on sale for $40. It's normally an $80 lever. So I was like, uh, fuck yeah, I gotta get that shit right now. Um, so I went out and bought it. So I want to get the matching clutch lever, which this one's bent up anyways, so I kind of need one. It goes up, it's bent up from me crashing. Another good thing I like about this lever is this thing is adjustable. You literally just twist this gold thing and watch. It's fully adjustable which i think that's awesome and since this one's adjusted how i like it it's weird because that one's not adjusted so that's like one of the first things i want to do another thing i want to i plan on doing eventually is rebuilding the whole motor i wanted to rebuild the top and bottom end and when i get it rebuilt i want to get a recluse clutch for it while the guy that I have rebuild my bike is already has it all apart, I want to have him put a recluse clutch in it. Who I have rebuild my bikes and work on my bikes, uh, and where I get all my stuff from is 28 Motorsports. He is located in Central Ohio. Best shop, hands down. Ryan does some amazing work. He is the only guy that will ever touch my bike, other than me and my dad, of course. But like for all like the hard work and if i need parts or something i always go to ryan he is a great dude and i really do recommend him i want to have him rebuild my whole entire motor and give me a recluse clutch reason i want a recluse clutch is because when i am racing um because i plan on racing a lot more this year because i will be having a better job so i will have money to go race last year i really didn't have money because working minimum wage sucks ass and basically minimum wage paying jobs is basically just getting me money to get to fucking work. It's kind of pointless, so I really don't have that much money. But then again, I also do spend my money on some dumb shit. So it's, it's kind of my fault. It's kind of my fault. But we don't really talk about that. So I do plan on racing a lot more this year. And recluse clutches are just nice. Like, if you fall, your bike is not shutting off unless you hit that kill switch. I don't know. They're just cool, and I think they're nice. Gonna take some getting used to. I have seen people lining up on the gates go to rev their bike, and their bike just goes shooting forward. But it's gonna take some getting used to, but I want to get that eventually. Next thing on my list is I need to get some new mica bars. The reason I need to get new mica bars is because I bent my mica bars at Briarcliff, and I don't have the oversized fat mica bars. I just had the regular size. So when I do get mica bars again, I'm going to get oversized bar clamps too. Probably going to stick with the red because I think it looks good. So I'm going to get uh, the mica bars and the new mica clamps. And another thing I'm for sure going to need is uh, new chain and sprockets. Uh, this Renthal one has lasted me a good long time. I think I got it uh, the Christmas of 2016 and it's still good. But uh, I'm going to get the black mica one and the nice mica x-ring chain. Another thing I for sure need to do is I need to get a new seat cover badly. I need a seat cover badly. It just kind of doesn't match anything with the sticker kit. I'm not too sure on what seat cover I want. I think I want to go all black with the white ribs and maybe like blue accents behind them but i'm not 100 percent sure yet who knows about that maybe we'll uh send my suspension off somewhere i'm not too sure just to get it set because I, I heard everybody saying like once you get your suspension set for like your weight and like the proper sag and all it it's like a major difference so i might do that eventually but i'm not too sure i for sure like number one on my list is the motor uh, I've had this bike since 2015, and it's been a great bike, but I just want to rebuild it, and yeah, I just want to stay on top of it, so might as well. Another thing I might get eventually is oversized brakes. I'll be going so fast, man, like, I'd be having trouble stopping to get into the corners, 
So I for sure need them oversized brakes. That'll definitely be last on my list. Nah, probably last on my list probably be the suspension. But I just think that would be last on my list. And obviously here and there I want to get like a couple little cool things. Like I might get a, like a bling kit. If any of you guys don't know what a bling kit comes like engine plugs and like axle blocks and just like dumb stuff like that. Just get one in red just because it looks sweet. But who knows. But then again, all this information is coming from Trey Atkinson. I can't make up my mind every other week, so who knows? But I for sure am going to get my bike rebuilt. Like, that's for sure happening, and that clutch lever is for sure going to happen. Like, those two things are for sure going to happen. Chain and sprockets will happen eventually because you need that to ride. But yeah, everything else is kind of just like a little bit extra. So, uh... Yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video on what I want to do with my bike this summer, just to kind of let you guys know. So, yeah, guys, thanks for watching today's video. Rate, comment, subscribe, and peace out.